Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here, and I want to talk to you guys today about Hot in NHL 15. Uh, something very interesting was posted by Rammer here. He actually retweeted a FIFA Hut. Basically, I'll show it. It's right on the screen now. This thing outlines the the strikes that it'll take for if you are soliciting, uh, promoting, or even trading pucks or coins as they now are known in NHL 15 to match uh, FIFA. So, now there's no more coin trading. They're going to be cracking down on people. So, all those those hut trader, puck traders out there, they're cracking down on you guys. Now, this is not anything new. Obviously, this tweet's a little bit older. But, at the same time, I think that there's something interesting that could be discussed about it. Alright, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but I figure it's, it's something we should probably bring to light. Now... Ever since Hockey Ultimate Team came into play, there was only one thing that you could buy from EA, and that was uh, packs. You could only buy the packs. Uh, you could either use your pucks or your real money uh, through the Xbox Live Store to purchase the marketplace to purchase that pack. It, and at that point, you could redeem those those uh, cards that you open for pucks. So when when people started coming out with the idea of being able to buy pucks specifically. Um, that was a big deal, and it actually revolutionized the way people built their teams, because they could actually achieve and, and acquire players that they wanted. I know myself, I was spo I've been sponsored by, uh, Hut, uh, Hut Puck Store, and, uh, they do, they will give me a certain amount of pucks per week. Now, they also provide pucks to people for money. It's the same scenario as almost everybody else out there, okay? So... Now that they've cracked down on that and said that nobody else can do it, why do you think that is? Why would EA step in with something like that if they didn't have ulterior motives? EA is all about making sure that they get their dollar. There's no doubt about it. And we all know how lucrative a business the hot puck trading can be. It's time consuming for the people who have to earn the pucks, but... Long term, it's actually quite lucrative just for playing video games. These guys are being paid, paid money for their pucks. That's pretty impressive. And you got to say, it's a, it's a, the ingenuity in that, the ingenuity in that idea is incredible. But EA is now going to kibosh it. Why? I think that there's probably, at this point, I think it's probably a 60% chance that EA offers the ability to buy pucks from them. Now, you'll still probably be able to pay for uh, packs with real money. I think that that's something that will exist. You'll probably get some kind of a deal. But they want to take advantage of the business that is specifically buying packs or coins. Sorry, we should just now refer to them as coins. It's, it's a very lucrative business. And EA, unlike puck traders, don't have to work for it. They can just create the pucks and sell them. It's 150% profit. That's, I add the 50, but it's 101% profit. There is no cost for EA to sell the pucks. Maybe operating costs to receive people's money, but they already pay for it considering they offer the ability to buy in-game uh, attributes, uh, packs, or whatever else you want. So it's nothing new for EA, and I definitely think that's something that we can expect. Now... How does that, what does that mean for, let's say, your average Joe Blow that wants to buy your packs? Probably nothing's going to change. You'll probably pay, pay a little bit more for your, your coins uh, than you would from a puck trader. Uh, or a coin trader, as they're going to be called. Um, what does it mean for coin traders? Well, it means you guys are going to have to switch your names over and over and over again. I know that a lot of YouTubers are pretty much... They base their entire team on their sponsorship. And if they don't have that sponsorship, then they can't build teams. So it's going to be really interesting to see what the Hockey Ultimate Team community becomes in NHL 15. Now, I myself am not one to open packs over and over again. Obviously, I opened a pack not too long ago, and I explained to you guys that it's probably a one-time thing. But in NHL 15, I want to make our Hockey Ultimate Team almost like a be a GM. We're going to be building towards something great. And so in those episodes, you will probably have a couple packs being opened. Now, I don't know where my, my coins or my pucks are going to come from. I'm really hoping that these puck traders or coin traders find out a way 
to negate the system and not worry so much about being banned or whatever it is. Will NHL staff actually pay that close attention to it? Only time will tell. They're really hard to track down anyway. Uh, any smart coin trader doesn't actually use their gamer tag as uh, as their. They don't use their gamer tag as their name. Um, but what I could see happening is almost like a mystery shop. You know, EA gets on your website and buys some coins from you. Then you make the trade with them. They get your gamer tag. And boom, locked down, whatever the three steps are, they're right there. Uh, that's how they're going to get you. I think so. But how often are they going to do that? I don't see it going often, very often. They'd have to, there's so many puck traders now. Uh, the market is, is completely full of them. And I think for them to stay on top of everything would be a little bit ridiculous. But it's something kind of exciting, I guess, for the future. Uh, it allows those people that don't want to necessarily go through a puck trader or a coin trader to get their cards. They always buy the packs, and then they save up their their pucks and buy the player that they want. Now it gives those guys the option to say, hey, you can spend your money on these pucks. We will give you these pucks, and it's safe. It goes to your credit card just like everything else that you buy from the Microsoft Store. So I think it gives that familiarity to the buyer, to the consumer, so that they can actually enjoy the pack and not worry necessarily about a sketchy online payment system. You know what I mean? Some people are concerned about that, really concerned, especially when it's not through PayPal, which I don't know if there's anybody that doesn't use PayPal as a puck trader. But anyway, uh, it will be interesting for NHL 15 to see exactly what happens with this dealio. Um... I'm really hoping that they figure something out because I want to be able to continue to bring you guys content and I don't play enough Hockey Ultimate Team to justify to justify me like playing a ton of games and getting those pucks that I would desperate or coins I would desperately need to get the players that I need. You know, that that's the nature of it. I would end up spending more money opening packs or buying pucks possibly from EA just to get the players I want. Now, is that something I want to do? No. Do I have money coming in from doing these videos? Yeah. Would it be enough to cover Hockey Ultimate Team for the month? Probably. But in my opinion, I've got more important things to spend my money on. I've got a mortgage. I've got family. I've got, uh, I've got two vehicles, car insurance, gas. All that stuff adds up. So I can't afford to necessarily be purchasing ho Hockey Ultimate Team packs over and over and over again. Or pucks over and over and over again. Just because EA is the only source. So... Fingers crossed that something positive comes from this and that the puck traders do figure it out. I'll be in touch with my guy shortly here to find out what he's going to be doing come the next gen console. Obviously, this is a big kick in the nuts for a lot of them. So I think a lot of them are coming up with some kind of a contingency plan uh, just in case they do get banned or something like that. It will be interesting to see. All right, guys. Well, that's where I'm going to leave it. Let me know what you think about my idea. Do you think that EA will be have the ability to buy the the coins directly from them or do you think they just want to shut it down most big businesses when they do something like that are looking to make the dough on it because they can see the money in it all right let me know guys down in the comment section below nhl 15 hit shelf september 9th hope you enjoyed the background gameplay of course and i'm going to be getting the early edition which i believe should come out september 4th i don't know exactly what that entails but stay tuned to my channel for some more great content and NHL 15 content. We'll have a little little bit more of NHL 14. Probably not too, too, too much. Probably finish the year on BGM. Um, I don't know what we're going to do for Live the Life. But we'll get there when we get there. Alright guys. Until next time. I'm Target Audience. And I'll catch you guys out on the ice.